Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I'm very excited to see you here on my channel. So today I'm going to be filming like a small, pretty fast get ready with me. I'm just getting ready to go for my ultrasound appointment. And um, basically along with my uh, quick makeup, I'm going to be talking about like life updates and things like that. So if you would like to see and hear what's going on with me and my family lately, then stay tuned. And before I start my video, I would like to mention uh, the partner for this video, which is the Sia Perfumes. This is the brand I've been working with, uh, I've been working with for a while, and I just got a new package from them. Uh, this is how the package looks when uh, it arrives. This is one of their newer perfumes. I'm just going to do like a little unboxing for you right when you receive it. Um, it tells you um, a little bit about the brand, that it's cruelty free, it's made in France and it's vegan and all that good stuff. It comes with a card that describes the perfume. So this one is the Fruity Magnolia and inspiration is Versace Bright Crystal. Uh, it tells you the concentration and a little bit about the perfume. And this is how the bottle looks like. They also have like a... Um, easy return policy with no questions asked so that's why they come with like this little sample or tester you can always try it out and if you don't like it you can return it so this is how the bottle looks like i already showed you in some of my previous uh videos it's one of my favorite packaging because it's super sleek but you can see how much of the perfume is inside and the perfume of this size is about 29 dollars they run a bunch of promotions on their website, so they constantly uh, have different sales. So when you buy like two or three or more, uh, you get like a 20-25% discount. So you can go check them out. It's uh, www.dacier.com. Um, and again, this is one of my favorite packaging. It has the magnetic cap. So easy to put it on. And it has like a super fine uh, mist. I'm just going to try it. A little bit yeah it's super nice yeah that Versace perfume is one of my favorite ones um, but what I don't like about Versace they don't stay on all day on me for some reason so we'll see how long uh, this will stay on me because I know that uh, the sheer uh, perfumes are very like this they, st they stay pretty much 12 hours like the whole day I'm wearing them they stay on me so uh, we'll see how this one will work but I really like it definitely you definitely smell uh, magnolia. So yeah, check them out on their, on their website. All right, my husband just texted me that they're gonna eat out with the kids. He just took them to the park. I'm filming this video and I am for once alone in the house. It doesn't happen very often, so I set up this little corner, or not a corner in the middle of the room for the makeup because, um, I don't know, I feel like I've been using the same um, spot in my house for filming the makeup tutorials and I feel like it's getting a little bit repetitive so I just wanted to switch it up so I just want to tell you how I've been I don't know how life has been going for our family um, and I'm curious to hear your opinion because I know pandemic changed like people's lives so much and um, for some people it was a good changes for others it was just different and for some people it was bad changes so we're kind of in the middle <laughs> we're in the middle of everything i feel like it's just been so overwhelming um lately that i was not even able to post on youtube usually when i um edit and i upload vlogs and then they come out automatically like every tuesday um and then it kind of relieves the stress from me from like being on time. I know that there are videos, like two or three videos in advance that I upload and um, it usually helps. But this time I ran out of videos. I didn't have much going on because all I was doing is just going to work, going to school and then doing my homework. And I feel like I was not uploading as frequently. So I really apologize for that. I'm going to get better at it. Now I'm going to be back on track. I'm editing all day today. Um, so yeah, hopefully I'll be back on track. 
So, um, I'm actually finishing the school. I have the last few weeks of my school. And after that, I'm supposed to get the certificate. And I think I will be done. I, I don't know if I match my foundation very well. But, oh well. Because I had like a little tan from going to the theme parks with the kids. And then I have a swimsuit. So, part of me is white. Part of me is darker. So, anyway. Um... I'm just so excited to finish up the school. It's been going, like I've been going to school for about two years, nonstop, and I've been taking so many classes. Every semester I take about seven, six to seven classes. So, and each class you have to, to do homework for it. And then since everything is online now, you have to do like few hours, like you're in the class. So. It's like, it's a lot. And uh, the last month, oh, well, the last year and seven months, my mom was here. So she was a huge help with the kids. But now she left like a month ago. So she can come back, you know, visit my family there and then come back um, by the time baby arrives. So it's been just very difficult because Preston also goes to school three times a week. Um, and then I also started my internship a couple of months ago, so I go to work, um, so it's been a lot, it's been a lot, and I've been struggling with time management, it feels like every day is kind of the same, because my work, um, it's about 45 minutes away from my home, and although I love it, it's a little far, but I don't complain, but since my internship um, and with my classes to figure out the schedule, I don't work full days, I only work five and a half hours, plus I spend about an hour getting there and coming back, so overall it takes a big chunk of my day every time. Um, and then I come back and then I do homework, so it's been so much, I've been a little bit down because of it, it just feels like I don't know. I just want to finish the school and I just want it to be over. I was hoping to get, oh my goodness, I put a lot of blush on, but let me blend this a little bit. It feels like um, I wanted, the plan was that I will finish my certificate program. So um, in the college that I go to, they have a three levels of certificate programs. And I was going for the second one. There's interior design, merchandise, interior design, assistant, and then a professional one. And then I was going for the second one, which is assistant. And then um, basically the plan was that I will just get experience and start working in a firm and I'll move on to the, you know, junior interior designer and things like that. But turns out that I cannot get uh, my second uh, certificate because I need to it's like a part of a associate degree so I need to finish general education classes for it and I already done two but I still need four because my I have a bachelor degree in Russia but I cannot get it translated like it's it's hard to get things translated if it's in another country so it feels like I'm just gonna get them again here but I just didn't know when to do it because I wanted to do it during this like winter break and the summer break and just be done. But I'm just so exhausted that I feel like I just really need a break. It feels like I've been going, going, going and I'm a little overwhelmed. Like we don't have school for the kids so Preston watches the kids a lot and then I watch the kids when I come back. Um, from work on those like three days that Preston goes to school. I don't know. Let me guys know if it's just me. I just been feeling very overwhelmed lately. It's like it's been so much that sometimes it feels like when is that going to be over? And I know it's supposed to be easier when my school is over. At the same time, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get a job where I'm getting my, uh, internship hours from. I hope they will hire me, but at the same time, you know, 
just wanted to ask you guys if you can give me like a little advice or something how to I don't know how you guys manage time now uh, life is going back to normal but how do you like the daycare is just too expensive I don't think I can pay for daycare right now so how do you guys do it with your partners or spouses how do you do it because my kids supposed to start kindergarten in August and that's supposed to be like four hours a day I believe so it might get a little bit easier but still um, my husband is going to start looking for a new job it seems like his job is not really reopening so we're both going to have full-time jobs and I have no idea I'm not going to um, leave like all three kids uh, with my mom so it has to be some kind of a daycare or something for the kids but the daycares are so expensive the ones that like pick, pick up kids from school or something like that so let me guys know what's what's your solution how you manage this how you manage this and also what's been going on we are thinking to sell the house so we just put it up on the market a couple of weeks ago so that's been happening and we've been showing the house and that's not easy because you gotta like keep it really clean we've been cleaning uh the house because again we don't have a cleaning lady so we've been cleaning the house while we're watching kids with preston so um you know cleaning like the walls and staircase and you know things that you don't usually clean on like a weekly basis so we'll see how that goes because i know I like my house but they raised our taxes recently and I don't think it's realistic for us just to like keep going <laughs> that's the plan for right now and I'm already like more than halfway through my pregnancy so I've been I gained a lot of weight but I'm kind of like I don't bother with that I feel like whatever I want to eat whatever makes me happy I don't care um I just want to focus on you know satisfying my cravings and not to worry about like you know counting calories and things like that although I know I'm supposed to all right so I'm pretty much done with my makeup for today thank you so much for staying tuned I really appreciate your company please leave your comments down below and until the next time I'll see you guys soon